So today we're starting on a 2016 Ram 2500 with a 6.7. Um, another technician started on this, but he's out, so we're gonna have to complete it. Uh, all I did so far is I wiped down the surface, just with brake clean, just get it clean. You don't want anything big. He already kind of cleaned it with uh, something, but yeah. So on these, you always want to make sure this thing. This is for the the veins inside the turbocharger. You see that line? You want to make sure it can go through that line, and then there's another line down here that one right there you want to make sure that this actuator goes side to side and want it, you want it to roll smooth just like that see how easy that is that means that the turbocharger internally should be fine so now that that's all set up you're gonna to have to put this turbocharger um we have to put it get it ready to install the actuator in the kit it comes with this pin that goes in here and you put it in they basically lining up with that line right there put the pin in make sure it's straight then we're gonna go and prep the actuator. So these are kind of a pain because you have to put the bottom bolts in. So this is the new actuator. I don't know if it's new or reman, it looks new. Uh, but you gotta make sure you put the bottom bolts in because they I don't think I know you can't get this one in, but I'm not too sure about this one. So we're gonna plug it in because it's gotta be set up, you can't just install it. So I just plugged it in, it's gonna set it right there. And these do come with the seals on them. Make sure the seals are on there when you go to do it. I'm going to go ahead and get my scanner going. And we're going to get it ready for installation. So I'm going to pull you guys back here. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Let me turn my light off. Um, so we're going to go, I don't know if it's functional or functional system. It's system test. So it'll tell you right here. VGT, turbo actuator, pre-aligned, self-calibrate. You gotta pay attention to this uh, function. Install the actuator on the turbocharger. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and install the actuator on the turbocharger now. And then what I usually do is I install it and then I run the truck without any coolant in it for like 10 seconds, just rev it up just to make sure. So I'm gonna do this a little different uh, than most people are gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that pin out, the, the alignment tool. And then I'm going to get a uh, bolt ready for the top. Just one right like this. I get to use my brand new ball end uh, swivel allens. And then I'm just gonna slide it on straight on. Now you're supposed to use the uh, alignment tools. I just don't. It usually just goes right on just like that. Just wanna make sure you go straight on. You don't wanna go, at, go on at an angle. And we're just gonna go ahead and set one in. You wanna make sure it's all the way in, it's flush. This one you can feel it's all the way flush on the bottom and top. It's nice and solid. And then we're gonna go put this one in. I just wanna put uh, a couple in just so, it, cause it's gonna move the actuator. And then I would like to start the bottoms just in case it torques and it doesn't break itself. Dodge should have put a hole in the frame so you can get to these bolts. Because if you have one of these trucks, you're going to go through a couple of them, at least in the life of the truck. You know? So, let me make sure. I'm just going to tighten it by hand. Okay. Tighten by hand. Perfect. Actually, there's plugged in all the way. Hopefully, you guys actually saw that. Alright, that's a bad image. But, so, basically, what it is, I tighten this one, tighten this one, and tighten this bottom one right here by hand. There's still this one that's loose. This one you have to use the outlet key that I found. So now we're going to go ahead and get the scanner out. Again, we're going to go into the scanner. So now you see how it says, it says install the actuator on turbo. We're going to press continue and it's going to warn you, it must be installed on the turbocharger. So we installed it and let's press continue. It's going to make sure that it's okay, but I'll show you what we're going to do next. See, self complete and it, it'll fail if this is not done right. So what I usually like to do, I'm going to go back, clear the codes. Let's make sure we have no codes first. Knox exceedings. We'll deal with that in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and just rev it up and make sure that the turbocharger actually works. Yeah, I just started up for you know about 10 seconds, revved it up a couple times, just to like 2000. We have no turbocharger codes, which is good before we had a lost communication with the turbocharger actuator. Now we just have a Knox exceeded. Um, we'll all figure that out when we get to that point, once we get it running. But let's, uh, let me tighten this actuator up and then we'll go from there. Well, that's a little bit better view of the turbocharger actuator. 
trying to get it for you guys out. So, revved it up, no cones, except for the Nox Exceedance, which, you know, that's usually a secondary code of something else. I'm just gonna go ahead and snug this up. Okay, that one's tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this one up. And also, before you ever try to take one of these apart, you always want to make sure you drain all the coolant out of it. Because if you do not, what will happen is, um, it'll once you pull the actuator off, the coolant will come out and it'll get into the electrical portion of the, the motor. And it'll destroy it. And also, sometimes they come with a little tube of grease. It's supposed to grease the gear. This one actually had it already on the motor side, so I didn't have to do that. Thankfully. Gonna get all these nice and tight, and don't forget to refill your coolant. I'm not gonna film that portion. Um, I'm gonna have someone else finish this up. I'll have someone put the tent in and uh, put the fender liner, put coolant in, and I'll go drive it. Got these ball Allen's absolutely amazing. Okay, so the actuator is tight, it's connected. Um, I'm gonna have someone come by right now and uh, put that tent in, put the fender liner in, and put coolant in it, and then we'll go drive it.